uh, the situation in Moscow tonight. Um, it's a hall, such a hall of mirrors, this story. I'm looking at footage, it's not a very good radio story, of an explosion above the that iconic dome of the Kremlin. And I'm looking at a headline in the Daily Telegraph, fake or not, the Kremlin attack is extremely humiliating for Putin. Fake or not... How does that work? Let's turn to Cormac Smith, who's a former strategic communications advisor when he was Ukraine's foreign affairs, uh, to Pavlo Kimkin, I should say, when he was Ukraine's foreign affairs minister. Cormac, uh, welcome to you. What do you make of this? Colin, first, thanks very much for having me on. Look, I suppose, um, because I like to deal in facts, unlike Russia, which is a country which lies on an industrial scale, we have got to say that nobody really knows. However, having said that, I made a point of speaking to four well-connected people in Kyiv before coming on, including one very senior diplomat. And if you look across, I'm looking at various other people. The consensus is that this is almost certainly what we call a red flag operation by the Russians. And that, if I can explain, that is something which the Russians do. They then blame it on somebody else um, to give um, to give them um, a justification to escalate their actions. Now, there, there seems to be, from everybody I have spoken to, um, there seems to be very, very little doubt that this, in all likelihood, is a Russian red flag. And can I, could I remind people, going back to 1999, one of the most heinous red flag operations that the Russians carried out was when the Russian security services allegedly, because of course they deny it, mm. blew up four apartment blocks in three cities, including Moscow, killing over 300 of their own people and wounding a thousand. And that was to give a pretext for the um, going into um, um, bomb Grozny and the yeah. second Chechen war. And it was that effectively which catapulted um, um, and Putin into power from his position as prime minister at the time. I would add one more thing further. I have been in a number of confidential briefings during my time in Ukraine when the Ukrainian security forces had foiled Russian red flag attempts. So I think, one, this is something that Russia has absolute form for. We know, you know, that it's, you, we, we literally cannot believe anything that Russia says. The other thing to say, of course, is the Ukrainian government has absolutely strenuously denied this. The other thing is, how plausible is it that the Ukrainians could fly a drone all the way to Moscow, getting past their air defences and actually strike the Kremlin? Um, it's just not very plausible. Cormac Smith is a former strategic communications advisor, advisor to Pavlo Klimkin when he was Ukraine's Foreign Affairs Minister Cormac. Appreciate your time. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, let's go